it's me, Mikey Pipes. Hope all is well. I think I'm gonna combine two service calls in this video. I have, my next two service calls is the central air conditioning uh, not cooling well and he knows that the line outside was freezing up. And the other service call also not cooling well and the air handler which is vertically installed in the garage uh, it's got some water under it so you're probably gonna guess maybe it's a drain issue or maybe uh, under charge and it froze up but we'll see all right stay tuned and please thumbs up if you have uh, if you like this video all right let's get going Time, timer flash seven times ET system You ain't testing your guests. <laughs> She's old, so that's She's why I asked. You want me to try to repair this thing or replace it? What would it need? Well, we need to clean up the electrical compartment a little bit, you know, because it's just it's literally like electrical contacting there. Yeah. But that, it was just like that. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of. Contactor points are burnt there and there. And we have a refrigeration issue, probably maybe a small leak somewhere in the system because she's freezing up. We have good airflow inside. We have a clean filter. So let me, uh, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit for you. Yeah. And um, you know, maybe next year consider replacing this thing. All right, let's take a look what I did so far. Replaced the contactor, secured this capacitor to dual cap, but this is for the compressor. That's a single cap. That's for the condenser fan motor. They both tested okay. Contactor. I don't like those marks like that. And I've seen many, many times where they they close and they don't open up again. No bueno. All right. Now I'm gonna hook up my gauges, check pressures. Coils decently clean. Indoor coils clean, good airflow. So let me hook up my gauges, see what's going on. Let's purge the air out of here. Make sure everything's closed. And I can tell right away by looking at it, she's undercharged. Good technician is observing his surroundings. Looks like it's being burnt to me. Maybe there's the old whip. It's pretty clean. Wiring was good. Should check the amperage anyway. Just turn her on a few moments ago. All right, the system realistically probably needed two pounds of R22. And listen, I told him, I was like, if I put in two pounds of R22, then he said, hey, why don't you try the sealant? You've used it on my other system and it worked, you know, it's been working for like five years. I'm like, shh, shh, don't jinx yourself, right? And uh, I was like, listen, you're an ideal candidate to replace the system. Listen, if you want to piss away your money, by all means, I'll take it. But it's not, it's not a, it's not cost effective to, you know, put, you know, more money into this. And... Fortunately, thank God, I wasn't zapped when I took off the condenser, uh, the compressor cover, because you saw how that wire literally was touching the metal. <sighs> Crazy. Anyway, we took a deposit, 
on a new carrier condenser and I'm giving him an ADP uh, indoor air handler. ADP, they make a um, air handler 110 volts with built-in hydronic coil. He's got a built-in uh, fan coil on his uh, air handler in the crawl space. By the way, cement floor crawl space, very nice stairs to go up from the basement. It's a very, very sweet uh, replacement job. And I probably have, if, 15 feet of line set. Pretty cool. So, everything, unfortunately, everything's on back order, but I did take the deposit, the order is placed. And I said, listen, it could take maybe three or four or five weeks, but when it comes in, we'll schedule, get it done. All right, so off to the next. All right, at my next service call, in Taj Mahal land, selling the house, and there's a leak in the garage. Wait till you hear this one. All right. We have a first co, five ton, 110 volt air handler, installed March 4th, 2014. It's got a TXV. <clears throat> Let's follow the drain, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, it gets better. <laughs> what do you want to bet what this filter looks like? <laughs> oh boy. Gadget, long skinny arms to get that out of there. Oh my god. It's like I'm always laying down on the job. I gotta get that filter out of there. Let's see if I use this as a stick. Amazing. Ugh. It's a problem. It's the problem with these Taj Mahals. You know, they spend all this money on all that square footage, making it look pretty and spending, I don't know, four, five, six hundred dollars a square foot. And then they don't have the decency to do maintenance. <laughs> Unbelievable. Crazy. All right, I know it's not 100%, but better than nothing before. Got rid of all that. Put a trap at the end, that way they could slide the right size filter in and out. Cut in a T there, it goes to that. It is what it is. They're selling the house and they wanna do the minimalist job as possible. And they're like, oh, it's been like that for, for years. It's been like that for years. <laughs> and of course, now I'm on the roof of this Taj Mahal because the air coming out of the vents is, eh. There's a five ton, Nordine. Two degrees of subcooling. It's a leaker. It always amazes me. People will spend so much money on their houses, <laughs> but they always neglect, they always neglect mechanical systems always it's like what is maintenance you know it is what it is but it pays the bills it pays the bills hope you enjoyed the last two service calls with me ending the day short today we got a dentist appointment implants finally ready and uh I'll get a cleaning done too all right thanks so much for watching 
If you haven't done so already, I would appreciate it if you subscribe. That's the best way, the absolute best way to support the channel is by subscribing. And if you like this video, a thumbs up. Saint Mike commands thee to thumbs up and do it now. Do it now. Thank you so much for watching. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.